6th of May 2018. Okay. This is a female speed. Speeds. How, how old is it? About 7 years. The main complaint recently is like the mm -hmm. shivering, is it? Mm -hmm. The main complaint from the owner actually is the, for the back. What shivering is there? Where? Where the shivering? Uh, shivering is at this area. The, the whole back leg area. Which leg? Two legs. Both legs, I say that. Okay. This, this shivering signs are signs of pain. Uh. You just say where is the pain now? We already have done the x-ray. So but before that, I'll do the, do the physical exam. The physical exam, we had walked the dog this morning and the dog was not limping, was not lame. Uh. And uh, there was a kneecap, the medial luxation, the kneecap, which is the leg, uh, the right leg. Uh. Mm. And normally if, that, if it's bad, then the, the dog will be like this. The thing will be locked. They cannot walk. Mm. But so far, do you see this? Mm. And then you hop a bit. He didn't see that. So it's not serious. Otherwise, uh, then that, that time you have to operate. Now the other side is the the arthritis of the left hip. Mm. Okay. So now you put it down, huh? hold the chair. And I'll show the examination whether there's any pain or not. I'll hold here. So this is the hip, right? Mm. And this, the left leg is the problem with the hip arthritis after we see an x ray. So I just have a quick examination. Okay, flexion, extend. no pain here. Now this is the patella here, the kneecap. This one has not has not uh, any problem so so it didn't uh, go sideways when the X-ray. Huh? So that's okay. And also no pain. This is a left leg. Okay, so left leg, okay. The left leg, the thing is the hip here. Now mm. I will check whether there's any pain on the hip by seeing the dog. Eh? Oh, it's looking at me, quite worried. There's some sound here. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, there's a sound. So there's a, a bit of uh, pain there, you can see the dog. But it, it is a good dog, so it doesn't bite. So there's a cracking sound, there's a bit of subluxation. So we confirm that this is uh, painful and the x-ray will show it now. Come and stand up first. Okay, so I will just check again. Now, if the dog has this location, you see the two back legs, huh? one is shorter than the other. Mm -hmm. yes. I can see. So there is a subluxation of the hip joint, but not so serious. So he didn't uh, limp. But if we extend it to uh, a bit shorter, you all can see right in yeah. the left leg. Mm -hmm. That's because it's anterior subluxation and this will be confirmed by the x-ray. Okay, so now I'm doing a kneecap. So this I come. One, two, three. Now, according to the x-ray, the kneecap, the patella, moves to the right, moves inside. Uh, so, so there's a luxation. Now there are two, four types of luxation. The, the, the third type is where it goes in, it goes out, comes out, but it goes back in again. So there's no problem. Now I do the extension and flexion of the knee cap, the knee joint. Now the dog doesn't feel any pain. Let's relax. So it doesn't feel any pain. This is not feeling pain. And he's not limping, so she should not limping. No pain. Huh? So that should be okay, you see. No pain at all. So so that's why there's no need to do surgery for the time being. In this event, but now I check the hip. Huh? Uh, this one from the X-ray is a normal hip, so so it should be not. Uh, come relax first, okay? Mm. Uh, I should not even feel anything. I will feel. See, no, nothing. See. Don't pet, don't pet the dog. Man. Don't pet anything. Don't don't distract the dog. If you don't see the dog, any pain. Oh. It's very painful also. Uh. Mm. Okay, okay, so that's it. That's it, the x-ray. So this x-ray was... Uh, uh, much, okay, much. Now, you can see the, the right, right hip is normal. Uh, one year ago. Uh, and the left hip was just not the one painful. Now, it wasn't so bad one year ago. You can see there's not much... Uh, rough, roughness uh, of the, the joint. Uh. Okay, that's the luxation there. The patella has gone to the to the side of medial luxation. And you can see 
the, the groove is quite deep, so there's no shallow groove causing the luxation. This is the normal one, then the patella is here, okay? Which, which is inside the groove, huh? So the left one is normal. The right one is the one with uh, problem. Now I'm looking at the, the one year later, this one year later, you can see uh, a lot of changes, you see? In fact, uh, I mean, if you want to say that this x-ray is not very well taken because it's not 100%. Uh, dog is not lying down 100%. Anyway, you can see bone changes in the femoral head compared to this. There's no change here. Then this one is the right side. This is where the patella has gone sideways immediately. We have here the patella. You, see, you can see that patella. This is the normal one in the groove. This one is disappeared gone uh, immediately gone sideways uh, here it's about here eh? because the tail is here it's, so it don't happen to put his tail here so it just uh, block it but the patella is luxated here so now this one is where the danger is the, the getting worse and worse and uh, it comes out that's why there was a sound when I extend and flex this hip joint but there was no sound here but somehow the dog felt the pain uh, it could be due to the other side. Okay, so in conclusion, don't let the dog climb up downstairs and go for long walks. And uh, we give the painkiller to relieve the inflammation and prevent more of these uh, arthritic changes. Now, worse come the worst, if the, if the head comes out more, then we cut it off like this. If the dog is limping, uh, then uh, the dog will be able to walk normally, but not 100%, but uh, able to walk. But it hasn't uh, got worse yet, because the dog is okay. Okay, it won't So basically, there's a...